Um, and you mentioned Binance, so I think it's worth mentioning Binance. Uh, it is a, a super important centralized exchange in our industry. If something happens to Binance, I think there will be a short-term hit. Um, we were talking about FTX at the opening of the show. You guys know I had a relationship there with, with Sam Bankman-Fried. Uh, when FTX went down, it hurt the crypto market, but it was a temporary hurt to the market. I think Bitcoin got to 16000 It's now well through where uh, it was on the announcement of that debacle. Um, you guys may remember something called Mt. Gox that failed in 2014. 60% of the Bitcoin trading was on that exchange. Uh, people said, well, that's the end of cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin. Of course, that didn't happen either. Uh, and I wish CZ well. I know him personally. I like CZ. I hope he sorts through whatever these issues are. I certainly don't want to see anything happen to Binance. Uh, but I think people need to understand that the ecosystem known as the cryptocurrency markets, Bitcoin, Ethereum, et cetera, are very resilient. Uh, and there's a lot of pent up demand coming into the space. You can just see it in the on chain uh, analysis that we do. At I would guess right now that we're through the bear market. And again, that is a guess. We don't know. Going to a different economy. And we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're, going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leverage to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign and so we'll import Chinese-based CBDC technology. So it's going to be CBDC in a box uh, provided to you by the People's Bank of China. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book. Remember, the New World Order book shows you how the world really works, and it is definitely time for you to wake up out of that sleep, especially in the times that we're in right now. Now, guys, I told you in 2023, in the first quarter, we would get an event, and now we have the banking collapse which the master magicians pulled off the perfect distraction. And at the end of the third quarter, going into the fourth quarter, guys, we're going to have another main event. Now, of course, the markets will still pump and dump until we get that next crisis. Guys, we know they're going to pull that rug. And all we have to do is watch the Fed to know exactly when that's about to happen. And also, guys, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books it's time to re-educate. Also, much love to those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon. Much love. Keep it coming. Guys, if you're not a part of the Patreon, make sure you're donating to the channel through the actual Cash App. We all know this channel is Shadow Band. Now, guys, in my Patreon, I keep you up to date with the New Road Order events. And then also, I give you the New Road Order cryptos. But of course, you have to do your own research. But guys, this next Bitcoin and crypto bull run is going to be a utility run. So you want to make sure you have the cryptos that have real utility. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And right now, guys, we have Bitcoin and cryptos flat. And we know stocks are closed for the holiday. But we know Bitcoin and crypto is open 24-7. So, guys, we're definitely going to have liquidity coming to the market this weekend. 
I'm not your financial advisor, not financial advice. Please do your own research. Now, guys, we have Mt. Gox registration finally closed. And we know they're going to be releasing that Bitcoin sometime around the end of the third quarter or beginning of the fourth quarter, right as the drama starts to pick up. We know over these next two years, we're going to be in a real life movie, just like they did three years ago. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Now guys, don't forget about the indicators. We have yield rates, which moved up slightly, but guys, we know they've been pushing them down. They've been completely manipulated. They are nowhere near the highs where they were at or where they should be. And then guys, we have the dollar, which moved slightly up. We know it's completely off its highs, but don't forget the move that Brazil made. All these countries slowly moving off the dollar is going to make the dollar weaker with none of your politicians saying anything. And then, of course, guys, we have volume in the crypto market, which is low. I do see that moving up just because the markets are closed. That liquidity should come in this weekend. And then, of course, guys, we have Tether. 80 billion market cap for the first time since May of 2022. And then we have USDC. And then, of course, guys, we have the Fed. Repo at 2.1 trillion. And then, guys, of course, we have the central banks raising rates, running off the balance sheet. So, therefore, they can destroy this legacy market. So, therefore, the fourth industrial revolution can rise. Well, the robots, algorithms, and drones take the economy over, pay each other with crypto, and the sheep go inside the metaverse. Now, guys, we have the U.S. money supply drops most since the 1950s. And, guys, we know over the last three years that every crisis we've seen, the Fed and the banks were the cause of it. And if you have my NWO book, you understand history. Because we know the banks are the biggest what? I'm going to let you finish that. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Now, guys, we have Grayscale sending about $24 billion. But getting over into a little crypto news, we have Robert F. Kennedy Jr. running for president. Instant payments may lead to financial slavery. And, guys, that's all we've been hearing from the politicians, but we don't see any steps in making changes. Remember, guys, technology can be used for good or evil. Even though this technology is coming, blockchain is here you still can protect your privacy. So this technology is not the issue. The issue is they want to put you out of work. They want you to rely on the government. And we know if you're relying on the government to feed you, eventually they're going to starve you. Remember, this money is going to be programmable, telling you what, where, and when, and how to buy, and you have three to six months to spend it or poof, it's gone. And we know Robert F. Kennedy, his dad, was a great guy. But we know what politics is all about. We know Democrats and Republicans work together in order to move the NWO's agenda. So you'll know whether you can trust a politician because they would expose everything. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Now, guys, we have Germany plans to issue electronic shares on blockchain to boost startups. And guys, the only thing they're doing is tokenizing capital. We know everything is going to be tokenized and put on blockchain. Now we have Avalanche introduces Evergreen subnets to connect institutions on blockchain. Also, Avalanche Cortina upgrade goes live on protocol testnet. Now we have Solana reveals cost-cutting solutions for on-chain storage. Also, we have Ethereum's restaking protocol Eigen layer launches on Testnet. And guys, this allows the ability to add new features to Ethereum. And we know how big that's going to be. Now we have Argon and Polygon Labs collaborate to boost DAO accessibility. And guys, this comes with no coding. And we know whoever makes this space seamless is definitely going to be the winner. And then lastly, guys, we have Scar Mochi says that he believes the bear market may be over. But guys, we know the Fed hasn't even gotten started yet. We know the reason why we received a pump because the Fed caused these smaller banks to collapse, which allow them to infuse liquidity, which helps stocks and cryptos. And we know they're going to continue on keeping this up until they're ready to pull the full rug. And we know one of those indicators 
is the debt ceiling. Once it is agreed upon, we know spending is going to be cut back. That means liquidity is going to be cut back. But remember, guys, the Fed had planned this decades ago. We're just going through the simulation. So that's why I tell you all the time, guys, get in the lab. You do not want to be caught on the wrong side of history. And remember, the crypto teacher told you because he knows when it comes to the New World Order, it's all planned out. You have a wonderful day. It's crypto teacher and the New World Order book, plus the three kids' books, it's time to re-educate. Also, new to cryptos, Coinbase, BitChute, Binance. Do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The stock channel, guys. Don't forget to go like, subscribe, spread everywhere. You have your Kobo, your chip size, your banking, your gaming. While everybody's sitting at home, get on stocks, the receiver, the biotech stocks. And while everybody's at home wishing, they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and you have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share. But this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save the village. Part 2. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Goes to China. It's mandatory to get part one, part two, and part three of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.